Holy crap. Can't believe what I just heard. America, American flag, America. How do you feel about America? Here we are, a couple weeks out from midterm elections. Topic of the day, America. How do you feel about America? My dad was in the Navy. I was very fortunate to miss the Vietnam War by a couple of months. So, God bless America and the veterans that served in Vietnam. But I was able to miss that conflict. But how do you feel about America? I was just over at a friend of mine's house, 62 year old man, born in America, raised in America, started a business in America, has five kids, all born to an American wife, who was born and raised in America, paid taxes his whole working life in America. He never outsourced. He's a small business owner. What is it? An LLC corporation or whatever they call those things? Limited liability kind of thing. So he was told that he needed to convert over to this uh, new health care system that our country has. So, seems how that he's old school, he does not have internet at his house. He called up the healthcare marketplace, as they call it, and signed up for his healthcare. And all of his employees had to do the same thing as individuals, as opposed to a group policy under the company. So, he gets a letter in the mail six months after he signed up and been paying and been covered. And it tells him, hey, you need to produce all this documentation, i.e. your birth certificate, i.e. social security number, etc., 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 to prove that you're an American citizen. So, he calls him up and says, hey, wait a minute. What's the deal and why is my citizenship now in question? Having been born here in the, I don't know, 50-something? You guys do the math. I'm not going to do it real quick. I'm watching out for crazy truck drivers that might drive in front of me. But, <laughs> so he, said, he talked to him and he told him, you know, hey, you know, what's up? They said, oh, there was a problem with uh, the way things were entered and the way they're trying to repair it. And, uh, you know, uh, we're going to try to get this looked in, checked out and everything. He said, well, I'm going on a fishing trip followed by a fishing tournament. And I'm going to be gone for a month. So what do I need to do before I leave to get this taken care of? Oh, sir, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. We'll get it taken care of. 
So he gets back from his fishing trip. And he pays his next month's installment on his, uh, on his insurance, excuse me, on his insurance. And about two weeks later, he gets a call, or he gets a check in the mail, refunding him his money. Well, the refunded money was due to him canceling his insurance. But his insurance wasn't actually canceled. His insurance was, in fact, canceled by the marketplace. Because now he has a unclear immigration status. Now, how do you have an unclear immigration status when you're born, raised, paid your taxes all your friggin' life in one country? Our country, America. So, when I was there, he called in, tried to get this resolved. The lady uh, found where there was a conflict, on, you know, and tried to get it resolved and couldn't. And she sent it off to a supervisor or a tier two, uh, what did they call it? A tier two escalation. So at the tier two escalation, the Hispanic sounding male answered the phone and the only thing he was concerned with was that my friend delivered the papers. You must show your papers. You must show your documentation. You must show your documentation. Please submit your documentation. We will try to clear this up, but you must submit your documentation. And he's like, what documentation do I have to submit to prove that I'm an American? You look at the form and submit the documentation. You just submit the documentation. And it got to be so frustrating and flabbergasting that I had to walk out of the room laughing, thinking of the old time sitcom Hogan's Heroes and Colonel Schultz or Colonel Clank and Sergeant Schultz going let me see your papers I must see your papers you must have your papers so is that a correlation with today's America or is that just kind of stretch it just at that moment in time sent me to that place of Hogan's Heroes and Colonel Clank. So what do you think about America? YouTubers? Vote. Vote often and vote early. This is Reno's World. We're out.